All right, guys, welcome to today's video. So I want to make this a really quick video. I just want to go over um, the post that I just made a few moments ago about the startup cost if you're going to start a virtual tax business. So welcome. If you're new to me, let me give you a quick introduction. My name is Krista. I am an enroll agent by the Internal Revenue Service, and I also help tax professionals, bookkeepers, CPAs, and accountants grow a multiple six-figure firm by marketing on social media. So I wanna walk through some startup costs because I know quite a few of you are looking to get into the business. Maybe you already work in accounting or finance, maybe you're already an accountant or a CPA or tax professional, but you wanna start your own business. I wanna give you some basic startup costs that you wanna take into consideration when you are looking to get your business up and running. So I'm gonna share my screen and let's go here. Okay. So let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. All right, so here's what I actually shared. Uh -oh. Gotta love tech, technology. Okay, so here's here's the actual post. So it says virtual tax business startup cost. So the very first thing that you want that you want to learn or pay for is tax law knowledge, right? So I put fifty dollars to five hundred dollars because there are quite a few different options on the market as far as learning tax law. Some people they always ask me, they're like, Krista, do I have to go and work at like H and R Block or Liberty Tax or something like that in order to take their free course? Um, the only thing, the only caveat with that is um, typically if you do um, an H&R Block course and you work for H&R Block, they do make you sign a non-compete agreement. So you are prohibited from starting your own business at least two to three years after you work for them. So they offer you free courses because obviously they want you to work for them, uh, which is why their courses are free. They will teach you tax law for free. So you just want to take that into consideration that nothing is really free, um, well, at least in not, in, not in that instance, right? And so there are a few ways that you can learn tax law. One, um, you know, of course, we have a, a small course on the market right now called Tax Preparation Mastery. We're actually just giving you um, the overview on individual tax law, as well as some business tax law and then representation, the, the things that you need to know that governs tax professionals, enroll agents, tax attorneys, CPAs before the Internal Revenue Service. So you want to make sure that, you know, you know your due diligence requirements. All of that is included in my course, um, as well as a walkthrough on how to prepare certain tax returns. Right. So, how, you know, going over, you know, Form 1040, going over Schedule C and so forth. And that also comes with um, every two weeks a live Q&A with me and a private Facebook community for like forty nine dollars. There are different um, types of um, programs, also courses that you can take um, a few um, I've seen on the income tax school. I think there's is um, anywhere between like three and five hundred dollars. So you can check that out as well. But you just want to see like, you know, what course is going to give you the foundations that's going to make you confident to prepare taxes and really taxes is really all about knowing the law. So you just need to understand what are the credits, what are the um, what are the credits and deductions applicable for your clients? Uh, you know, you need to understand filing status and so forth. And you definitely want to understand like your due diligence as a tax professional, the things that you need, like the questions that you need to be asking your clients and what you need to be documenting when you are preparing taxes professionally. So check out those options. Your P10 is free now. Before it, they used to, the IRS used to charge, I believe, $30 for your P10 every year to renew it. Um, there was some, litiga some litigation of that so now it's free so there's nothing stopping you right now from logging on to irs.gov go ahead and get your p10 your efin is free but you do have to pass what's called a suitability check so with that suitability check you have to get fingerprinted and i think i paid anywhere between like three and six dollars for um to get fingerprinted at my local um state police station right so you can order the fingerprint for free on the irs website or the station can give you a fingerprint card of theirs and you can send that into you can send that into the Internal Revenue Service. Um, and so I just put six to $10 for that cost. Now your virtual tax software, you know, I do have a few videos on virt virtual tax software that you can check out. Right now we are using mytaxprepoffice.com. Um, it's a completely 100% cloud-based software that allows you to send a link to your clients where they can onboard themselves. They can take a picture of their documents. They can securely send it. You can prepare the tax return. You can send the tax return electronically securely and the client can sign online. So, you know, this is going to allow you to work completely virtual. 
Um, their pricing is anywhere between $495 and $1,000, but you guys do get a, a really nice discount if you use the, um, the discount code Krista, which is just my first name, um, all caps, C-R-Y-S-C-A, or if you call in and you speak with the representative, you can drop my name and they'll give you a nice discount on that. Now, coaching and training, if you are new in this business, you know, I, I really wish there were people like me several years ago when I started my tax business. I really didn't, you know, there wasn't anybody showing showing up, giving all this information for free, like telling you how to start your business, the things that you need to learn, um, the things that you had to pay for. So I had to figure all this stuff out on my own, right? Um, and a lot of you have told me that you guys, you know, it's your first time hearing about an enrolled agent or it's your first time hearing about an EFIN. Um, and so I'm really privileged that, you know, I get to, you know, share my experience with you guys and let you, you know, really reduce your learning curve, right? So if you there, if there are coaching programs available, I would definitely implore you to take a look at it. It's just going to help speed up your success, right? Because when it comes to starting any business, the quickest way to success is to find somebody that's already trailblazed for you and learn from them. So I put coaching and training on here because I firmly believe that coaching and training in any business endeavor, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're starting any type of business, whether it's taxes, bookkeeping, or something else, it is really smart um, to find people that offer mentorship and coaching that you can pay for that can actually speed up your process, right? So you don't have to bump your head along the way because there are a lot of mistakes. You can actually learn from their mistakes. So our coaching and training program right now is 997 and we actually work together for an entire year. So I, I hold your hand. I show you how to market this business. I show you how to build this business to six figures. Um, I show you how to get clients consistently and most importantly, like how to sell, right? You know, as, as service-based professionals, even if you went to college, even if you have a degree, I can pretty much guarantee you, you do not know how to sell you do not know how to talk to people. And so the main part of that program is really showing you how to build a virtual tax and bookkeeping business so you can work from home, um, but also how to sell confidently, how to increase your pricing, how to make sure that you're working smarter and not harder. And this um, and that training program comes with a year of coaching from me. So if there are other people that are offering this, you know, I would definitely just, you know, um, side by side compare the, the products, um, the services that you would get with your with a mentor. But I would definitely, if this is your first year in any endeavor, you know, don't waste time. Don't, you know, make a lot of unnecessary mistakes if there is coaching and training available to you. Now, when it comes to marketing, a lot of the strategies that I personally teach um, are, you know, they cost, you know, little to no money, right? So some of the things that we typically pay for is like LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which I believe is about $59 per month. Some other things that we pay for is our, um, our virtual our virtual booking calendar where clients can actually book a call with us online. I pay right now $39 per month for that, but you can use other booking software like Calendly, Acuity Scheduling. This is going to allow your clients to actually book a virtual appointment with you to, you know, have that virtual meeting or that telephone call. So I put $150 to $1,000 a month right here because it really depends on where you're at in your business, right? So if you're a new startup and you really don't have a lot of money, you can't get clients just off of sweat equity just by you know, knowing how to market yourself on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, you, 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 you know, really, you only need about $150 per month in order to get a lock in a handful of clients. Now, if you are trying to accelerate your success, right, if you um, have an actual budget, you actually have resources to deploy for marketing. Now you can really start thinking about Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, Instagram ads, where that, of course, you're paying now to acquire a client. So how I teach it is a hybrid of both. We get clients organically as well as through pay advertising. So it really just depends on your resources. And so this is kind of subjective. This is just going to be on a case by case basis, how much money you spend on marketing. And so total cost is anywhere between $1,800 and $3,500. And this is one of the cheapest businesses that you can start online. And all of this, you know, as you, as you can see, I didn't put storefront on here. I didn't put, um, you know, um, you know, like you don't need to, like a storefront would take, would like blow this budget out, out of the water, right? Um, I didn't put like a franchise or anything on here because you can do that with coaching and training. So you just want to take this into consideration. If you right now are really operating on a shoestring budget, which I was when I first started my business, you want to make sure that you are getting the most amount of work 
accomplish, you're getting clients with the least amount of money, right? So if you don't have to spend a lot of money to start this business, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get clients and really be successful. You do just need to invest in your knowledge, make sure that you are providing good quality service, that you are um, understanding tax law so you can help your clients at the highest capacity. And then also guys, I always tell people, irs.gov is free. So it's nothing stopping you right now in reading up upon the publications for individuals, for businesses, for representation. There's nothing stopping you from doing that right now, going on irs.gov. It's just that when you buy a course or a book, um, oh, and that's another thing. You can also get books on Amazon. You can go to amazon.com and get some books on tax law, tax preparation. I've seen quite a few of you post books. Um, you, you guys found those books of where it says the 475 deductions, right? Like all of that is free online, but if you have a book, then it just formats it in a way that helps you um, expedite what you need to be knowing. Now, the last things that I put on here are other items assumed, right? I'm gonna assume you have a laptop or a computer. I'm gonna assume that you have internet, a strong internet connection. And I'm gonna assume that you have a cell phone. And if you have those items, you know, you will be able to work 100% virtual. You will be able to get clients online. You'll be able to securely send their send client documents back to your clients um, and really build the business the way that you want to, right? So the old way was you had to get a brick and mortar. You had to do all this guerrilla marketing. And now we do everything from the comforts of our home. We help our clients at a higher capacity. And, um, and yeah, and we just run a virtual office. So I just wanted to shoot this quick video um, to let you know, because I have been getting that a lot as far as startup costs, um, how much people need to actually get into the business. And it's not, you know, it's not expensive at all. Like I said, this is one of the very few businesses where you really just go in with your knowledge, some basic resources that you need, and a cell phone. And you should be able to get on the phone with people from all over the country now, helping them with their tax and bookkeeping. So if you have any questions about this, go ahead and drop your comments below. Uh, you know, I, I try to answer every last comment that you guys um, post under YouTube, Facebook, on Instagram. Um, also, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, or in a group capacity, I do have my program, Tax and Accounting Clients on Demand, where I walk you through how to set up your virtual tax and bookkeeping business. I'll walk you through how to actually price your services adequately, pick your niche, and also do the marketing on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Google, and most importantly, how to sell and how to talk to people. Because that's what social media, you know, we're just utilizing social media as a tool to get real people on the phone and walking through a proven script and that leads to them actually becoming a client. And then from there is really about you having your time management skills in place, you having your workflow, your process, and really ramping up to where you can hire people to do a lot of the data entry for you, you know, those day-to-day -day tasks of bookkeeping and tax, um, you know, tax data entry. And you could be the person that's actually just running the business as a true CEO. So that's where I really, like, that's the, the, the goal of working with me is to get you to CEO status to where you have people up underneath you that are completing the work and you're just overseeing the process, ensuring quality control, and you're actually the, the person that's bringing in more accounts, bringing in those new clients. So if this sounds interesting for you, I'm going to put some links below this video so you can check out my program, Tax and Accounting Clients on Demand. And guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.